Warte, ich muss ja dein Gesicht sehen. <laughs> This is the place that I got for you. But I tried to get a nice and big and shiny place for you instead. It looks great. Really impressive. Okay, so the first thing that I really liked about this place is the security because right here you have a reception so if you have something this to ask is about, for your house yeah exactly so oh. if you need anything or if you're curious about like the area around here yes. you could ask like where's the convenience store it's, it's like a hotel <laughs> look at this this is the first secret of this place um, you know we don't have keys in Korea no keys we have key cards okay or we have like the number pads so yes. for your house you can open it like this <laughs> the dogs! Yeah, yes, Anita. And now we can go inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, so are you ready to go upstairs? Yes, how far do we have to go? 18 floor. 18? Yeah, so. <laughs> I think I've never been that high. <laughs> go ahead and. You, you mean my apartment is in 18th floor? Exactly. I have no idea. Probably. I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. I mean, you said it's a one room, right? Yes. So it's one room but with everything that you need, like a bed, a small kitchen, refrigerator. How do they manage? We will check that out when we go upstairs. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> they always talk! <laughs> it's talking to you, it's telling you which floor. And what did they say now? The doors are closing. I really like in Korea, even if you press a wrong floor, you can delete it again. And I don't think we have that function in Germany. No. <laughs> it says, like, don't like you it. remember, you and your brother, you always used to press all the buttons? All the buttons. <laughs> the elevator had to stop at every floor. But here, there's no problem like that. You can just... It's yeah. fun. This is great. Oh, how do you like it? Let's try and well take it done. out inside. I have to take my shoes off, right? Exactly. Right here, you have to <laughs> take off your shoes. There's already a lot of stuff that you could need when you live. Oh yeah, you can open it. You can open it. So because oh. this is a place that was prepared for people living here. Yes. You have like, you even have some more umbrellas. Yeah, you have all some... these little gadgets. They're really cool right. to hold your umbrella. To help you organize in the space. Yeah, it's not just a cupboard, it's really sort of well thought of. Then first of all, we have the <laughs> mini kitchen. <laughs> Integrated washing machine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. So clever, <laughs> really clever. And they still use gas, but gas is really nice for cooking. Very Fru fast too. It's very fast, but it's also easier to regulate. Well, regulate mm. Exactly. And Absolutely. I actually really like this one too. It's the gas valve. So you can always turn it off and you know, I feel like gas can be, you can think it's a little bit dangerous or tricky, but with this, you can always check That's like on the great for safety because accidents do happen. Mm. I mean, so this is practical. <laughs> exactly. You just put, you don't have to dry your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you just put it here and then it drips into the sink. Even if you let it dry like this, it will dry nicely and prettily so you don't have to worry about that. I like this. Yeah, all right. <laughs> then on the other side, we have a mystery door. You can... Bathroom! Yeah, it's a bathroom, but I really like that it's kind of a modern bathroom. You can take the pink slippers. I, I wear these because I, the floor might be wet. Exactly. If you take a shower or you yes. wash. Yes. So, you know, first Ooh, of all... fancy loo! <laughs> oh, it really, right? It's like a hotel almost. Absolutely. So you've got the controls here for all sorts of things. Oh yeah, it's for the toilet. So yeah. bidet function, yes. so some water to help you clean well, up. Well, I won't try this now. Oh, okay, okay, maybe later, <laughs> maybe later. You can try it out yourself. Oh, you know, if you're on the toilet for yes, a long time, mobile you, can, phone. you can put your phone right here. So, maybe. you know, at home, I always have a ma some magazines. You Date. can put your magazine in here, too. It's magazine holder, too. This I for will, your phone, spend, for I will your spend hours in this room. And, and then, of course, and a huge built in shower. Exactly. And here, of course, you have your storage space, a lot of storage space. And again, everything is prepared here, toilet and provided paper. by the owner. Exactly. So you can start living right away. You don't have to buy anything Very else. Very convenient. So more built-in cupboards. Oh. <laughs> 
are a rice cooker. I cannot be missed in a Korean oh, home. Really? Is that is that normal? That's standard. They yes. are so practical. That oh, so this it's a beautiful think, color. That's my favorite color. It's like maybe just for one or two people, like a small portion. Well, yes. But one you or can, two. Yeah, yeah. For one room, you know, it's like one person's. Like this a, is so clever. <gasps> <laughs> Very cool. Ah, uh, it sounds like a fridge. Uh, it is a fridge. Then probably we have the freezer here. But yeah. This one. Ah, yeah, so everything so? again, perfect. Right, it's so they cute. always fall over in Germany. Mm. And here we've got them on wheels. So you can like, it's very practical to drive them around. Yes. And then you can put out the legs like this to make it more stable. Okay. You know? ah. And then, yeah, done And you this. can move it because you remember, we've always had to carry them. Everything has its own little space. To go into. Yeah, I mean, that's really clever, mm. isn't it? A nice view. Oh, it's nice. You can even see the mountains there. Yeah, Hangang River, and I think that should be Bukhansan. It's a bit rainy today, but I think. Yeah, but isn't that amazing? Mm. Because, of course, in Germany we have high rise buildings, not, not but then like it's usually very close built in. Mm. But the combination high rise building and a view, it's I mean, nice, it's like right? being in, you know, outside in nature mm. but the mountains they look beautiful too and i prepared oh. some books for you for your korean studies and for you know the tours that you can oh. go on guide to new topic yeah now i have to study right fighting mama fighting uh, oh. no 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 i thought i was on holiday <laughs> you can study a little bit and then enjoy the city i will too. i will did I'm... i do a good job at finding well done daughter well done it's really impressive so now that you have seen everything in this place what is the most interesting or surprising to you the talking elevators the talking elevators the talking elevators <laughs> everything is talking mm. and it's always with a purpose it's not just you know fancy stuff but they give you a warning or they tell you that the doors are now locked which mm. is great when you go out i've never seen that in germany in the, on the ground floor so and then you come here and you have this view it's all right. i mean it's better than in an airplane yeah that's true <laughs> only the best uh, is good enough. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is a bit cool, mm. a bit windy. So I think after walking around today, you might be hungry. So I prepared a very special, super delicious place for you. You see, it's Hanjongshin, so it's Whoa. Korean food again. It looks, it yeah, looks delicious. Here. After you. Okay, mom, so there are two main menus. I think we should go for the Dokgaibi one. Oh, this yeah, Gaibi. Great. I remember Gaibi. That was very delicious. Like I like Gaibi. That looks great. I thought the thing that you might like most here is that it has so many different banchan and like Absolutely. side dishes. And Absolutely. And I know you are a banchan lover. So yeah, we have some Gaibi that we both like, side dishes. Definitely. Looks no, it's just can't wait to get my hands on it, you know? <laughs> what? <gasps> Am I allowed to take a photo? We have to wait when, when she comes to us. That is crazy. <laughs> and she's wearing Hamburg, did you see? The design is like a Hamburg dress. Amazing! <laughs> oh. I just have to take this all in, it's amazing. It is nice. Oh, oh, I it can't, it doesn't in. fit in. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I can't believe, I, honestly. Yeah, so yeah, I just I just right. fill in the rice, yeah? yeah? Yes, yes, very good. What do you want to start with? I think maybe this is, maybe this is even the, like, Ojibo Chokkal. So, Enjoy. Yeah. Mm. It's good. I know you mm. love this one. Mm -hmm. You know, when I came here, I said kimchi, 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 but I think this is now my favorite oh, banchan. Mm. It's really nice. Shall we try the soup? Oh, oh this is good. nice. I think it's part of all meals, every oh. meal almost, right? Mm. Yes, yeah, nice. You put it together with some rice, yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. It tastes super fresh. Yes, it's nice. Again, a mixture, you know, a little sour. Yeah, right. There's like different tastes in this one leaf. 
It's really crunchy. Absolutely, very fresh. In Europe, you sometimes get vegetables which are, we call it, cooked to death. <laughs> uh, they're very overcooked. soft, they're overcooked, very soft, and they all taste the same in the end. Look at the color. Perfect green color, taste, texture. It all goes together, so that's really nice. Okay, okay. Let's try. Mmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> really soft. So do you combine this with other, like with rice I suppose? Always rice? Like this. It's really nice. You can nice. combine it however you want. Like it's so soft and juicy. Oh. I'll actually try some octopus now and you can try it like that. Or First of all I'll try it like this. Very fresh. Very fresh. So you just put this in here, yeah? Mmm, like <laughs> and what is this? I think it will be pink some, ginger. Oh, because it has been marinated in some sauce. I feel like oh. I feel like ginger. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not just ginger. There's also some lemon taste to it and something else. I must try this, but There's it must like be marinated in something. Not, not throw it around. It's totally different from what I expected because it's really crunchy. Maybe you want to try the chapchae noodles. But you know chapchae already, right? I know chapchae already. You already oh. made chapchae at home, right? I tried, yes. Mm. Good job, good job. Mm. It's good? Mm. Let's try with apple I think you can just move Okay, it thank you. you. Mm. Mm. I think no bones. Actually, I have almost finished this now. Oh, it is so cute! Hi! Can't believe this. <laughs> that is so cute! <laughs> and now we tell her, good job, good job! <laughs> I couldn't see the cat face. Did you see the cat face? Did if you, you wait? eat a lot, then you can see her again. So what do you think about the banchan all being able to get a refill? It's absolutely fascinating because this is a concept we don't have at all in Germany. No refills, I mean no banchan really, because you order your dish and then you maybe get a salad or so. You should take a photo now to see the cat face. She's so pretty. When you're finished, she gives you a really cute smile. Oh my God, <laughs> That's really something you can only experience here. Like, there's so much technology in everyday life here. You know, German people are not that good at eating hot food, so... Mm. Mm. What was the most new or interesting taste? More Definitely of... that. That was the most interesting, interesting taste. Because I didn't expect it to be this sort of crunchy. And also the combination with the black sesame seed. That's that was true. new. That I haven't tried that. Which Korean food you will miss the most back in Germany? I Germany. think it will be the banchan. The banchan? Yeah, the mixture, the, the, the collection of banchan. I will yes, buy I lots more of oh, good food. I will cry if you go like this. I will cry. Just get ready for a lot of good food next time that you're here as well. Oh. Ah, don't cry, Mama! So, do you know what this place is? Not really, except that I expect there's going to be some kind of barbecue here. That's right, we have a grill on our table. This is a place for special Korean food and that is Hanu. Wow, yes. You never had Hanu so far, right? No. You told me that maybe you would like to try it. How did you know about Hanu? Why did you want to try it? In these Korean drama series, it's always a really big thing when they go and eat beef. Mm, some but special something beef. really special, something really delicious mm. and also something very fancy. Fancy. It's true. <laughs> yes, to be honest. Take a look at the menu here. I'm so, not sure which will be the best. I mean, there's anchim, which is usually a very soft part of the cow, so that might be not good. Okay, maybe I will ask the waiter when he comes by. 사장님, 혹시 그 어떤 부위가 가장 부드러워요? 그럼 일단 안심 하나랑요. 
그럼 안심 하나, 능심 하나 주세요. This is something I always admire, you know. I'm always astonished by. The side dishes. Oh. These are of course like the peppers. You know the green pepper. That's going to be spicy, right? I think right? there will be. <gasps> you will love this. This is um, like little octopus or little squid. Lovely. It might also be a bit spicy. Then some. Oh, I think this might be some radish and uh, onion and ooh, a meat salad. Amazing. And look what we've got here as well. Oh, this is like a it's the good. onions. I think it's, it's onions. Mm. Yes, nice. beautiful. The real fire. It's amazing, mm. really, because as, as we were saying before, you know, of course you can order meat dishes mm. in Germany and you can go to a, a proper barbecue restaurant mm. um, outside usually, but not a proper restaurant mm. where you have your own individual barbecue in the middle of the table. <laughs> and you know, they're using the coal. Yes, like charcoal. Wood charcoal. Charcoal. And this has an even better taste than like the gas, because some places they only use gas, right? There's only the gas flame. But this is the charcoal gives it like a I bit more of an aroma. I was surprised to see charcoal mm. in the middle of the table. So these are like the better place. <gasps> wow! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at the texture. It's really amazing. Oh, that looks delicious, mm. even though it's raw. Thank you. Okay. It, it looks lo really soft. Right? It already it looks lo soft. So it looks soft. It looks very tender. And I think it will be very juicy. Yeah. Because of all the little fibers we saw. Mm. <laughs> very luxurious. Well, it's also a very interesting technique, yeah. you know, to stand them up so that they also grow from mm. the inside and then at the same time stay soft. It smells with them, it also looks good. Mm. It's just very, very beautiful. Look at it. Yeah, it looks so, good. Sorry, I have to say. Yeah, <laughs> hot though. Very hot. Well, a little bit. You okay? Mm. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> oh, that is so good. It's like this the special um, part of the anshin of the tenderloin. Mm. It's so good. Oh my God. <laughs> I just can't stop smiling. Right, you, you know? get happy. <laughs> And I really think the, the charcoal gives it a special aroma too. I think maybe we should try yuke too. You know, yuke is raw meat, like it's not grilled. In this place, it's bound to be excellent. Right, uh, you could eat this too. It's, it's How about the denjang jjigae? Oh, that will be nice, yes. Yuke hana rang sogogi denjang jjigae hana. So this was the dungshin. And it looks so cute in the little cubes. But I think you should try this one Amazing. because I know you like the jotgal. Mmm. It's good. Oh, mm -hmm. I think by now this is my favorite bancha. Uh, and what do you call it? It's like chotgal, which is the marinated like food stuff. Mm. Lovely. And you know this is kind of an onion salad, so you can also eat it is together. That, is, I'll try it. You usually put it together with the meat or like. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just try it. The dressing is special. Totally different from what I expected. Ne. <laughs> Ah, meat comes out. Okay, I think we should try some meat first. It's, it has right. a different smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, sort of it's more like an earthy. Oh, you're mm. already going in. <laughs> I'm still like analyzing the smell, taking the smell. Very good. <laughs> but yeah, maybe because like it's been on the the grill for a longer time already. But it has more of like an earthy, like wooden smell, like the car charcoal. But I think the taste of this mm. meat is also a bit stronger, but in a really nice way. Oh, they're so good too. It's <laughs> <laughs> just too much. I don't know where to start. So this is the, the raw meat, as I said, like in little stripes. <laughs> I mean, usually I say kimchi is the best, but not today. Not today. Not today. But I think we need to we need to eat the meat first because otherwise it's going to be on the grill too long. <laughs> mm. Yummy. Mm. <laughs> so now that we tried the anshim, the first one, and dingshim, which do you like better? It's difficult to say, but I think all in all the first one was because it was so mm. soft. But maybe I, it, I, it was only the surprise because mm. I've never eaten meat like that before. 
You have tried many different kinds of meat from Germany, from France, England, all over the world. What place would you give this one? Like which, you know, number one, two, three, four, which one? Are would you, you kidding? The first one is top. I think the first one was the best meat. I've the ever best had. meat of your life? Like that, that you can remember from lately? Well, out of 10, I would probably give it a 9.8. Just in case just there in is case. A, just in case there is a 10. Okay, so just in case there's even better meat, 9.8. I would out, out of ten. Out of ten, it's it was okay. um, it was really really amazing. Okay, really? Is it your first time? I have eaten raw meat before, but not like this. Not right? like this, mm. especially what is the white stuff? Uh, the white, I think this will be paired. I'll try case. this on its own first. Yeah, sure, sure. I think Very soft texture. Oh, it's good. Mm. Mm. You can't do this. I was just enjoying the meat and the pear. Oh, it's a strange combination, but mm. it's really tasty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's spicy, but not too oh. spicy. Mm. It's really well balanced. I love it. Continuous smile on my face. Mm. It's so, if you eat food that is so good, yeah. you can only smile. Like your overall impression. Excellent. 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 I mean, I tried mm. everything, mm -hmm. and everything I tried was just mm. that tiny bit or huge bit better than mm. I tried before. I haven't even tried. I haven't touched the kimchi yet. The meat was fantastic. Yeah, that's true. I really like this one. Mm. Very it's surprising. So, would you come here again, or would you want to eat Hanu again next Definitely. time you come to Korea? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So this was a success. Absolutely. Success story. Excellent. Success story. <laughs> Let's go again. With Papa. I think some years ago I went to a supermarket like similar, but I can't, I, I'm not quite sure. Do you think they have skincare products here? I, I think they will because usually in these big, big um, shops, yes. they have like many different sections. Yeah, I think us. there is already, I see some beauty products over there perhaps. That's very cute. That's actually very good if you want to buy a gift a, a present for yeah. like somebody back home well i was looking for some toner skin toner, toner. there's just oh yeah, yeah smart, smart. Oh. oh you see there's like this sun cream oh, product okay, okay. usually you can only get one but here's it's really good for free. so the price is like is that half. is that normal it's pretty common yeah that's why i love shopping in the big stores because there's a lot of one plus one or other sales or like you buy one yeah and you get another product like a tester so that's actually pretty nice mama so this is your first it's really nice mm. and you see summer sun sticks these are amazing you know yeah i mean i got some the other day because I find it so practical mm. that you don't get the sun cream on your skin. So remember on Jeju we had that. Sunstick all the time, yeah. Sunstick all the this time. Actually want, like, it's those little things I really like about the convenience in Korea. Yes. Because I don't know why we don't have sunsticks in Germany that much. So Hi. sunsticks are really sun good, sticky. but I've got some. You so got I, many, I yeah. don't have to get any today. So next time you send something to, to Germany, yeah. then send us some sunsticks. Let me have a look because yeah. there are so many nice things here <laughs> what is this bts character what so do you do it. with them use it as a cushion like around your neck a neck but pillow. so many so you sleep and then you have your bts member next to you oh <gasps> yes is that the series we're collecting yeah, yeah. it's like random box we'll take this one this one <laughs> what do you think it is? Which one do you think it is? I have no idea. I have to feel it first. The frog would the be frog? cute. Okay. But you know, this is one thing about um, Korea. But mm. I've noticed there are so many cute things. And normally I would be a serious grown up person, not interested in cute things. But I mean, who can resist Mulan? That's why it's so dangerous in a Korean Most supermarket because there's so much stuff and it's so so cute i mean look at this it's unicorn a peach but in germany they say it's childish right yes in germany well don't tell anyone at home that i'm sort of crazy for oh. Mulan stuff it's not childish to like cute things right it's just a just a style just yeah a but so still in I a way love... we think it's stylish uh, it's childish oh, stylish it, <laughs> that's 
That's why I love in Korea, even adults can get cute stuff as much as they want. So this is the toy area. Yeah, but this is Lego. That's boring. We have boring <laughs> Lego in Germany. Yes, yeah, we have that in Europe. Blue <laughs> <laughs> <Blue> dinosaur! <laughs> Oh, this one is. Look at this one. So, so what's coming now? What's coming now? No, actually, it's a food section. Food section? Oh, that should be fun. Okay, Ma. So, here, of course, we have a <laughs> speciality of Korea, Lamyon. You know him? I think so. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, football. Yes, football. football. Soccer player. Yes. He lived in Germany when he was little. So, I mean, he is like the most representative, famous football player of Korea at the moment. So I guess oh. he's the model of Shin Lamyeon and of course Shin Lamyeon is the most famous like number one Lamyeon in Korea. We can okay. even get this in Germany actually because internationally it's being sold in so many places. No, I would like to get something that we don't get in Germany. Okay, something special that maybe... Something special? Chamki Lamyeon. This is one that you cannot get in Germany. Not super, super spicy. It's still spicy, very delicious, but the special thing is there's like a dried egg in here. Okay. So it is very like a creamy and soft taste and I really like it and you cannot find it in Germany. So then maybe that could be... I think that would be a good present to take back. Oh, I think this one is scary. That looks, that yeah, looks yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like heat, yeah. fever. And here we have... Still goes on and on. Spaghetti, of course. We have wow. uh, mixed bibimbap, like mixed noodles. Um, we have cold noodles over here. Oh, and lately there are also vegan ramen because uh -huh. usually ramen is not vegan. No. But I think it's the green one. They even consider now that more and more people try vegetarian or vegan lifestyle. Yes. So they even came up with a vegan ramen. And on the other side, we have like the ready-made. The whole shelf is full on both sides. It's full with ready-made meals. Yeah, the Endemico, we actually can get some of their products yeah. in Germany. But yeah. what do we get? We get we get kimchi mandu. occasionally. We get mandu. I regularly yeah. get bibimgo mandu. There's yeah. so much. Chado denjang jjigae, dwejigoe kimchi jjigae, bude jjigae, galbi tang that you like. And, oh, this is really and it's it's sort of it's not even dried stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's you can just put it in your pot and heat it up and then eat it right away. It's actually pretty good. You've tried it? Yeah, sometimes when I feel too lazy to cook, you know, because I have to cook my own. My mom is not with me, so I have to cook my own uh -huh. food. So sometimes I just do one of these things. Well, that would be great to have because, of course, we do get so-called convenience product, but usually it's either deep freeze and then we only have like a choice of 10 or t not know, a big choice. Not a big yeah. choice. Or if it is not deep freeze, then it's really bad quality. Yeah. This is sassy, what's this? This is just like different sorts of rice. So we have hummibab, so black rice, butter hummibab, it's like mixed rice, maybe brown rice, you yes. would call it. And like uh, chapgokbab, so different grains and beans are in there. So it's not just rice, it's different. Yeah, for example, ah. here we have a bori, so not wheat, but a different kind of wheat. Then we have hyunmi, the brown rice, hyukmi, the black rice, and also bengmi. And everything as convenience. Ganjan, so much. We very, have very like two types. Mm. All different kinds of kimchi here. Look at this, mom. This is one thing in Korean supermarket. If you buy it, you just get two extra. You know, it's not one plus one, ah. but just like some extra products. And I really like this because you get a better deal for your money. Yes. So I, I really miss this when I go back to Germany. In the I German can imagine, yeah. yeah. You said you still want some coffee. For coffee. Mixed coffee. I think original could be good for mm. this taste. Yes. We look for rice cracker. Yes. yes. I see. Oh, very good. Very good. Yeah, rice cracker. Those were the good ones. Yes. Yeah, so I'll take really two good. of them. Is that okay? Yes, yeah, sure. Wow. There's even kobuk chip vanilla taste. Let's take one of the original ones, a small one, okay? And this one. Do you want that one? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because it's really funny to eat them. Oh, what about these um, sweet rice? You know, the round thingies that we have yugua. with rice. Ah, yes. ah yeah, here's yugua. I, I really it. like them, yes. It was your first time trying them, right? I think it was the first time, yeah, yes. But yugua is really... This is also... Yakwa is also famous 
but I think you like the yuca more. No, I, I, I'll it's also take good, these. These are really nice. Okay. These are all more kind of traditional snacks. So, Ham, now that we have all your <laughs> nice gifts, are you happy with the things we bought today? Absolutely. I'm very, very happy. We got so many nice things. And of course, my face mist. That's very important. Yeah. Skincare in Germany is not that developed yet, like compared to Korea. Mm. Here, like, it's really, really good. So, I hope you enjoy the dry winter that is coming yes. slowly. Absolutely. And yeah, use Facebook and think of me every time you use it. I will think of you <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Very good. Well, I hope you enjoy all your things back in mm, Germany too. I will. Do you know where we're going now? No. We where? will go to a very important and special place in Seoul. Okay. That is Yoido. You yes. know what's in Yoido? The the um, Parliament, House of Parliament, National Assembly. National yeah. Assembly. Yeah. You can Maybe see the the building of the National Assembly. Oh, that's cool. That's very good. Yeah. Uh, and you can already see some of the very high buildings because, of course, in Yoido there are a lot of broadcasting stations too. KBS Hall. Yeah, for example, the KBS Hall. And over there you can see some of the oh, This is what I meant with the architecture, that's really good. I mean, they're not just square blocks, but they're really interesting design. Oh, well, it is the National oh, yeah, Assembly. Yeah, it's the rooftop, the yes. famous green rooftop. And there's a lot of like financial firms and buildings here too, because Yoido is like Wall Street of Korea. Oh. It's really green, this is what I noticed. Mm. So many trees here. This is actually a really nice park in Yoido. Yes. But of course, because of the weather today, it's not as cozy as it usually is. But we might come here again when it's sunnier. Yeah, sure. And you know, there's many uh, nice restaurants around here, nice hotels to look at, or they have a nice, you know, hotel bar. This park is very beautiful. It's a very nice neighborhood to, to spend some time in, especially in this big green park. Yeah, <laughs> but you said it's a special area. KBS, I think, is in that direction. So the big KBS broadcasting station, like yes. a huge... TV programs yeah, yeah. And, and... And they have radio, drama, possession. drama <laughs> of course. <laughs> drama lover knows about KBS. Yeah. And I think in that direction, there's a very famous hotel. So maybe next time, maybe next time when you come to Korea, I can afford a hotel room there. <laughs> I will try hard. Well, we'll see. So many, many nice things to visit or to look at here in Yoido. Oh. What is that? Ah, uh, that's CCTV, like a security camera. Ah. So, you know, it, this park right now, it looks very nice, but of course when it's dark, it might look a little bit scary because there are some lights here and there, but not that many. So actually, if you feel like, uns like unsafe or yes. somebody weird is here, you can press the red button. It's like a emergency call. So then you can speak with an operator and they check the CCTV, the security cameras, if there's anything you have to worry about. That's so really good. It's Again, safe. a good safety measure. Yes, it's yes. very nice. Like, especially if you're walking alone at night, yes. it feels more comfortable just knowing that it's there. I can imagine Even so. if you don't need it. So yes. I think in many of Korea's like public parks, yes. they have these kind of CCTV towers oh, okay. and in some like back alleys. It's good to know, yes. Yeah, always like look out for the, the big round CCTV and I think it's looking at us now, <laughs> the camera. And yeah, you have the red button. That's cool. It's a huge field full of um, basketball, basketball net. Yeah, yes. yeah, I think like everyone can use them. It's like for public use and sometimes they have like city tournaments here. So it has been a couple of years, but I saw like a huge amount of teams, I think students, like maybe high school students they were competing here so it's amazing because yeah. there's so many different possibilities for different teams mm. or parties and you can just come here with your own equipment yeah, yeah. and play and i think like soccer players you know they could use this field too or if you just want to run around so this is also a good place to just do some workout while you're in the park very good it's not bad. oh because you know i think in yoido it used to be like an airport like not airport but the, before the buildings were here and everything, it was used as the where the airplanes could land. Maybe like military airplanes. Oh, could. look at the houses over wow. there. We have an airplane, airplane ex exhibition over there too. I mean, this is a piece of art, you know, just <sighs> these buildings together. And you see it's all financial, like Tuja is like investment. There is Bohom, which is like insurance. A lot of big companies that are here in Yoido too. <laughs> What? 
how is it to be back in Korea? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, <laughs> oh don't cry. <laughs> no, I'm so happy to be here. Mm. I mean, obviously, I'm happy to see you. But I don't know what it is about this country. It just feels good. It has a feel-good feeling. <laughs> how long exactly has it been since you? Four years. So long. Yeah. And I mean, in Korean time, that's like 10 years because everything is changing so fast. So when you came to Incheon Airport this time, what was the first thing or the, the thing that most surprised you like in the first hour or so? Like as soon as you arrived back in Korea? Well, first of all, um, coming into the country is really well organized. Mm. There is a lot of paperwork to do with COVID course, and everything, yeah. but it's very well organized, very friendly helpers at the airport. Mm. Of course, you have to follow the instructions beforehand, but if you've done that, you're fine. Mm. So it was much quicker, really, than four years ago when there was no <gasps> health check. Yeah. It was faster because it was really See, well done. Yeah, because now more attention is going into like who is coming into the country. Oh, totally understandable, mm. no problem with that. But you know, just the different steps, you know, mm. health check and passport check. Well, when I came through with my luggage, one thing that I also noticed, which was really good, was that my mobile phone mm. needed some, some power. Charging. And there were these charging stations yeah, yeah. and they even uh, supplied the, the cable. Mm. That was really good. So all the people, they were like grouping around the charging station, all with the different Yes, phones. but I think it's really good service mm. because they had different types of cables there. And then of course I didn't, know, <laughs> I didn't know where I was because last time I arrived with Korean Air, mm. but this time I had to choose a different airline, so I was in a different terminal. Mm. And I didn't have an idea, I didn't have mm. a clue where I was, but there were these huge panels. Oh, the LED screens. Yes, yeah. LED screens where I could, you know, just look, look for, for my location. That was really cool. You saw something interesting while we were leaving the airport, right? <laughs> that was amazing, yes. Um, you know, in, I mean, obviously you have these wonderful traffic lights mm. here, which give you little signals how many seconds are left. Mm. I know that from last time and I was really looking forward to that. But now you actually have um, colored, you know, red and, and green mm -hmm. stripe. Probably it's for the people who always read the mobile phones. Mm, but I think phone. it's really good for everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, for children, because it's really obvious um, mm -hmm. that they have to stop. Yeah, I thought that was very, very clever. So now that you are mm -hmm. here, you made it, you know, through mm -hmm. the long flight. What are some of the things that you are most looking forward to doing? Definitely want to walk around the city wall. Uh, Seoul Again, City Wall. Seoul City Wall and especially the part near Dongdaemun mm. because I haven't been able to do this last time. Mm. I also want to visit the Dongdaemun Center. Uh, DDP, okay. Dongdaemun Design yeah. Plaza. Yeah, yeah. For some reason I haven't managed to go there. Mm. Of course I'm looking forward uh, to my trip to Gyeongju and then I also hope to travel to the sea. Mm. Um, I would like to, to visit I don't know, it doesn't matter. East Sea, West Sea. I've got so many travel plans. I could spend two months just traveling mm. around the peninsula. But maybe we start with one month and one month. a couple of destinations for this time. I have to come back. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How's your like feeling now, mom? Well, still very sore. I mean, I was so stupid, you know, when I was walking. <laughs> Hiking. Hiking. In the rainy weather. In the rainy weather, talking to a friend, mm -hmm. not watching not paying the ground. attention. And then I twisted my <gasps> ankle and now it's really painful. It's quite, well, it's not that swollen anymore, mm. but it's quite painful, so. You know about Honey One, right? I heard about them, of course. Mm. I saw. No, I watched drama, if you know, Korean drama. <laughs> in Nala. Korean drama. But um, of course in Germany we also hear of acupuncture at least. Um, God, it's true. But I'm not sure, for instance, the, the, the scent, the, the smell, smell is, is yeah. very different for me. Yeah. So I'm quite curious what will happen. It's very, very different. So mm. I'm, I'm glad you come with me. You've come with me. Of course. Chopsu. Monica. Yeah. It will be fine, Mama. Well, I twisted my ankle and it now hurts around the, the ankle joint mm. towards the back, the Achilles tendon. The back is also 
발목 어디 쪽이 아프세요? 그 오른쪽 발목. 한번 가볼까요? 네. 네. 발목은 크게 인대가 세 군데가 이렇게 바깥쪽에 나누어져 있는데 음. 그 뒤쪽하고 가운데 부분이 좀 많이 부어있기도 하고요. 네. 그래서 오늘 침치료하고 물리치료도 하고 컵처럼 생긴 걸로 피도 좀 빼고 예 그렇게 테이핑까지 해서 마무리를 해드리겠습니다. 살짝 따끔따끔은 할 거예요. 네. 잘 참으시면 돼요. 오케이. 네. <웃음> okay. I only understood tape. Tape is good. Tape, tape is good. But, but what else? So he said there's like three parts of the, the ankle and the like the back part and the middle part are swollen and yeah. you can see that it's hurt so he will do some acupuncture mm -hmm. some um, massage like mm -hmm. massage therapy and make some little cuts to draw blood mm -hmm. and okay. last of all tape <laughs> i will hold your hand okay <laughs> okay einmal nach rechts okay oh. entspannt okay. hinsetzen okay <laughs> 생각보다 이게 두껍지가 않아서 금방 네. 들어갈 거예요. It's very thin, and he's starting. 그래도 아프면 얘기해 주세요. 네. 네. So when it hurts, 네. tell us. 오, 잘 맞으세요. Is it hurt? Ouch. Ouch. Sorry. 아, 좀 아팠어요. Uh, one was painful. Mm. 이런 데는 괜찮아요? Ouch. 여기도 조금 좋지 않으신 것 같은데. It hurts if he, when he presses there, one of the needles hurt. 자, 여기 이제 전기 마사지처럼 침에 네. 연결을 해서 한 15분 정도 마사지 작업을 다시 할 거거든요. 네. 음, 15 minutes. 촬영해 줄 거고요. 네. Okay. Of electricity massage. So it's going to get electricity on. 음. 어디 가시다가 삐신 거예요? Oh, where did you get hurt? He's asking. Um, on Bukhansan. On Bukhansan. <laughs> Actually, going down, going oh. down. 자 지금 어때요? 떡떡떡떡 있고 이게 칼스 쉽게? 네, 네, 떡떡 칼스. 네, 네. 이게 계속 한 15분 정도 마사지하는 효과처럼 근육을 네. 쥐었다 짰다 쥐었다 짰다 하면서 효과가 나는 거거든요. 혹시 네. 세면은 얘기해 주세요. 네. 이렇게 좀 15분 정도 있겠습니다. 알겠습니다. 네, 감사합니다. 네. 오케이. 오 마이 갓. Sometimes it really pinches, you know. Sometimes it's not nice. You can kind of see them like moving a little bit, the ones with electricity. Did you ever get this in Germany? Like back in Germany? Not like that. <laughs> But some kind of acupuncture? Yes, I uh -huh. did get acupuncture once. For when what? I had back pain. Ah. There are some German doctors who can actually do that. Mm. But it's just like one type of therapy among many. So I've never been to a proper oriental mm. doctor or clinic. So it was just like a regular Western hospital, but he could do acupuncture. Probably he did a three-day course, I don't ah, know. Okay, I okay. don't know. But there was no electricity or? No electricity, mm, no. Okay. So that's quite weird. And um, it's interesting because some of the needles I don't feel at all. Mm. It's strange. I mean, mm. the idea is really strange to me. I always wonder how did somebody come up with this kind of treatment? You know, who was the first person to say, I'm going to stick a needle in you so that you feel better? <laughs> it's kind of interesting. But I mean, it's the same with a lot of medicine. But it's just, for me, needle means more pain and scary. So, you know, surprised that somebody thought, oh, I will heal you with a needle. I'm surprised that it doesn't hurt more. I thought mm. it would hurt more. I mean, you still have the making a hole and oh, don't taking tell me. the blood out. <laughs> I mean, let's see, let's see. No, don't make me laugh because when I oh, laugh... Oh, no, no, don't, don't, you know, don't move. I, <laughs> I can see them. You could have even worn the blue, the cute blue clothes. <laughs> I guess this is when you, when you get something on your back, maybe. Because, you know, they have the velcro. You can just open it. So that you that you are sort of dressed. Yeah. I was wondering why they were hanging there. That's for instance much better. We don't have that. I've never seen that in Germany. And you have a privacy curtain. Like, bye, Mama. Bye. <laughs> Stay with me. Oh, that's actually not. Oh yeah, I guess because there's like so many beds in here. Like this would usually be another patient, not not somebody who just watches the show. So you can kind of have your private little. I'm very glad that you're here today. Of course. Yeah. So, so this is mainly interesting. Okay, gonna take out the needles and the electricity. Oh, it hurts. 
be strong. Okay, now it's all gone. Uh -uh. I mean, it looks okay. It looks the same as before, but a little bit of blood came out, I guess, like from one needle. Okay, probably the one that was in really deep. Oh, maybe. How does it feel right now? It really feels as if the needles are still in, so, uh -huh. so it must give some kind of stimulus. Mm. So I wouldn't really know that they are out. They mm. could be in just as well. Mm. 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 Or oh, maybe blood drawing. He will take out some blood so that the swelling will go down faster. Okay. Okay, I can do it. <laughs> nee. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that feels interesting. There's like a little bell, plastic bell. Okay. <laughs> 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 하얗게 좀 껴있거든요. 네. 이게 이제 어혈이 안 좋으면 이런 게 낀다고 합니다. 아. 아. But it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt? No. That's good. 네. Okay, so next step is already taping. It looks normal again, like, but there was, yeah, the blood, like the bad blood is it not... It didn't hurt. That's not flowing correctly. I'm quite surprised. I mean, I'm relieved. Oh. I'm relieved, but I'm quite surprised that the... Tick, 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 tick. Well, that was a bit weird. A bit weird, but this didn't hurt. It felt like a stapler, you know? A stapler. <laughs> yeah. mm. yeah. 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 That's really good. So you put ice pack on there whenever you have time, so the swelling okay. will go down faster. Okay. Ah. Ah. Is it cold? Yeah. Ah. It's interesting they do it like that. <laughs> what do you think now that you came to the last stage? Interesting. interesting. <laughs> mm. um, it didn't hurt. I mean, it was a bit uncomfortable. Mm. When, you know, when the electric pulses were added, it, it was a bit uncomfortable, but it wasn't like, I mean, normally I would have thought, you know, you have needles and it hurts all mm. the time. But it didn't. Okay. Um, it was just sometimes, but but then it was really as as if the needle was, you know, this long. Super and, deep, yeah. yeah. So so this is what I found really interesting. The needles were all the same, mm. but they felt different. Mm. Some felt, you know, as if it was a f like a finger pressing, and some were really sharp. So that was interesting. The um, the second therapy, you know, the measure with with um, puncturing the and skin, taking the blood. Yeah. I've never seen that. Mm. I've never heard of that. Of course, it makes sense because. The swelling is blood inside your tissue. Yeah. Blood in the tissue, so it does make sense to relieve mm. the tissue. That is like the that head, was, yeah. I mean, to me, to be honest, it sounds it sounds almost sort of um, I mean, very very sort of traditional and very old mm. knowledge. I've never heard mm. that done, and I didn't right. expect it either. <laughs> but didn't hurt that much. Mm. So yeah, very different from our very German different. hospital. T totally different. Mm. Totally different. I suppose when I, if I told that to a doctor in, in Germany, um, they would probably, you know, be quite astonished and say, well, this is, you know, medieval, mm. um, strange um, therapy. But obviously, it's. I mean, they, they they wouldn't do it if it wasn't effective. So I'll, mm. I have to wait and see. Let's put it that way. I expected coming to a honey one would be different from mm. going to a German clinic, and I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> it definitely was a very new it, it's experience. It's a very new experience. Surprising experience. Yes, and I mean, it can only help. It can't do any harm, I suppose. Yeah. So I have to wait and see. Okay, okay. I will.
keep my fingers crossed that you yes. will have a good recovery. Well, the doctor was very optimistic. Yeah, he, he was cute. He was very fun. Yeah, very kind mm. too. Very kind. In Germany, sometimes I was a bit scared about of the doctors because they could be very like, okay, let's do this and this and this and this and then, yeah. you know, give you the give you the syringe and give you the injection and whatever and then buy. But he seemed like a bit chill. <laughs> so. But he was very calm mm. and very reassuring. But it's better we don't have to come no. again. I hope I don't. Ho hopefully you, you don't have to come again and just recover quickly. So stupid. Yeah. What kind of Korean food did you miss the most or did you want to eat the most while you were in Germany? Kimchi. Kimchi? <laughs> Kimchi. But that's not a food, that's more like a side dish. Yeah, but actually the side dishes mm. are really nice. So uh, just the Korean banchan Korean side dishes. Korean banchan are really nice. Apart from that, I've been looking forward to eat some ojingo bokum. Ojingo bokum? Yes, and then also soups. Like samgyetang. Is it gukbap or babguk? Gukbap. Gukbap. Mm. I like that. Gaibitang, we had it once. Gumtang. 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 <laughs> and Koreans, they never joke about their food. They always have top notch quality and like big variety. This is something I noticed, you know, even in the smallest restaurants, it's always yeah. been good. So we're going up to the 50th floor now. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Das weiße Lange da drüben ist das World Cup Stadium ja. in Mapo. Da bin ich ja drauf gewandert, diese kleinen Berge, die hier in der Stadt drin sind. Genau, bei Ansan ist nicht. So now that we're in this beautiful restaurant with this great view, I'm sure you will feel inspired and hungry. Hungry, hungry, <laughs> definitely. So what we will do is each pick one menu and then that's like the main menu. You can also use the buffet. Sounds great. So here we have the main menu. This is like a grilled fish. I think it's sea bream in English. Grilled mm -hmm. fish with some mushrooms. This is like, I think, oxtail soup. Yeah, so but it looks totally different. A huge bit uh, amount of meat with oh, it. Oh yeah, a lot of meat. Then we have madok galbi. That's like, you know galbi. Galbi, yes, we have galbi tongue. Oh yeah, galbi tongue is also uh -huh. like one use of galbi meat, yes. which is like uh, cow's meat, like beef. So... Oh, difficult to choose. Yes. I think maybe we should pick one fish and one meat. I think this looks quite nice. Grilled fish, okay. Yeah, but juice. I would actually like to try this one. Mother yeah, it would be nice to have it like on a plate, mm. not in, in, a, in a stool. But if you like this... Yeah, amazing. It's so nice. Okay, okay. Can, can let's get, get some... Mit, no? uh -huh. like, nice. I mean, you can be here, let's see why the people are here. Just leave it. I want to try everything. I like... But of course, in Korea, mm, something yeah. like dog, you have to eat it. It's one of the national foods, so... And see, these are like banchan that you like. Watery kimchi. I've never had that. And this is like the kimchi that has just been made. So kotori is like the, the freshly... I have to try it all. Kimchi, we cannot miss we out. We can't miss out on kimchi. It's the main player. My, my plate is full already. <laughs> so yes, these yes. are like fried things. You see chicken? chicken. Oh, we have some dumplings too! Oh! Party party! Oh! Such a feast! Oh! It is so nice! So this is our rice. We can put the rice here and then put some warm water. So I think we should do this one first. Shall I hold the bowl for you and you? Yeah, you can give it to me. Thank you. Look at the steam. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Good enough for now? Yes, enough for now. And then what we have to do, we pour it in there. And it will become a nice kind of rice porridge, but underside, because this is so hot, the under part of the rice will be kind of crispy. So it's very nice. Oh, it's delicious. Helps your digestion. So it's good for finishing the meal. Ciao, <laughs> Bokasimia. Mm, really nice. 
Oh, this is good. Well, this is kind of a simple soup, but even this soup is really good here. Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> Some of them look, don't look familiar. I hope I can manage these. Mmm. Good? It is reddish, I think, and a bit of courgette, perhaps, or cucumber. I want to try some of the main dish. I will give you one of these two later on, okay? Mmm, this is interesting. Oh, I think it's like mjölchi. Yeah, it's fish. Yeah, yeah little, little anchovy fish. Mmm, great. Wow. Oh, I want to give you one. All of it? There's two. Mmm, it's all nice. Mm. It's good. Mm. I really like in Korea you have so many different kinds of fish, different kinds of seafood. It's it really mean, fresh. Yeah, it's so fresh, right? Mm. Because there's the sea on all sides, like on three sides of Korea. So it's very different from Germany where we only have like one side. I have to try the kimchi of now. Of course, it's important. Mm. It's good, right? Excellent. So this is John? Mm. I think this was the seafood one, maybe. Okay. Mm. Mm. That was a big bite. Mm. <laughs> it's good. Mm. I think chon was definitely one of the foods I missed in Germany because, of course, we have like pancake, but it's sweet. So all these nice savory things I really miss whenever I was back in Germany. Because you have the. And it's really one. straight. Which one was that? Dog. Mm. It's really fluffy. Chewy. Mm. 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 I don't know how people cannot love food. And I also like how there's so many different tastes. So we have something savory. We have something that is more like sour. We have something that is a little bit sweet. So even in one meal, okay, this is buffet, so it's a bit different mm. than a regular meal. But we have like different kinds of Tot taste. Totally different taste. Mm. And I've just discovered a new one. What is this? Some kind of green spinach. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's a bit bitter, right? So yeah. we have all the different tastes in on one plate. Yeah, you're quite right. The combination of everything. Mm. There was something that was even a bit sweet. And again, this is something that we don't have in Germany as such. Mm. That you have different tastes, but combined in one. And this is a traditional Korean. It's all like Korean side dishes or like Korean menus. Amazing. And I think even this mushroom is like Korean mushroom. like that is growing here, so it's, it's I don't huge. think it's important. It's really huge. Mm. Which is the most delicious so far? You know, it's all fine, mm -hmm. but my number one is always kimchi. Always kimchi. <laughs> always kimchi. Real kimchi lover. Okay, so one thing I want you to try is the mook. So this is acorn jelly. It's made out of acorn, so it's vegetarian. I think it's vegan even, so yes. I think everybody who doesn't have a nut allergy could eat it. So I would like you to try this because I don't think you ever had it before. It looks interesting. It looks like jelly. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe it's your food. Can I use? Together. Yeah, I think it's safer. It will be safer for you. Yes, yeah. It's this safer for safe toys. Sa safer for everyone. Mm. <laughs> it's a very new texture, right? Mm -hmm. Like I think the, the jelly itself doesn't have such a strong taste, but because of the sauce that it like put on there. Funny. No, I've never eaten something like that before. Nothing similar in Germany. Nothing similar. Definitely not. Well, you know, even though this is a very high class restaurant, they still have the buffet option where yes. you can get as many refills as you want. I'm curious about what you think because as far as I remember, in Germany if you go to a buffet, it's usually not that good quality to Absolutely. Good I didn't quality. expect anything like that. I mean, obviously you said it would be a very good restaurant, but when you said buffet, I thought, okay. okay. But this is nothing, nothing like that in Germany. And what I love, what I really, really love is to try, I mean, just count. There are 30 different... It's so much, yeah. Yeah, 30 different tastes and 30 different um, combinations. Amazing. Wow. Oh, it really looks like right? fresh like snow. so soft. So this one is very good for your digestion. Mm. Mm. Oh, really nice. Mm. Great idea too. Oh, I like this. I like this. I think this is also a good food if your stomach is feeling a little bit upset maybe because it just, you know, pushes everything down, calms everything down. You put it on there, you have like the spiciness and the savory taste of the kimchi together with the kind of sweet taste of the rice so this is a famous combination okay. in korea <laughs> mm. 
Mmm. <laughs> really nice. That's good. The combination with the sweetness of the rice and the sort of spiciness of the mm. whatever it is. It's a you. harmony. Harmony of the tastes. Absolutely. <laughs> I feel so happy. Mm. <laughs> it is reviving because the spiciness of some of the um, you know kimchi and other um, dishes is really invigorating it's That's true it's, it gives you energy. energy and it's beautiful I mean just look at the colors that's true it's aesthetically pleasing Happy thank you very that you much like this meal let's eat a lot of good hanshik while we're here yes hanshik <laughs> joyo <laughs> Mashisimida。Mashisimida。Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 저희 엄마랑 남자친구랑 셋이서 제주 한 4일 갔는데 진짜 너무너무 좋았어요. 날씨도 완벽했고 엄마도 바다 많이 좋아하시니까 너무 좋아하셨고 진짜 완벽한 한국 여행의 마무리였어요. 너무 슬펐죠. <웃음> 공항 갔을 때도 계속 엉엉 울었고 너무 슬프고 이제 엄마 오랜만에 뵙게 된 거였잖아요. 그래서 이제 가셔서 다음에 또 언제 만날 수 있을지 아직 몰라서 마음이 많이 아팠어요. 그래도 내년도 한 한국 오실 계획 있어서 그것만 생각하고 잘 버티고 있어요. 떠나는 날짜 나가올수록 기분 안 좋아했던 것 같고 좀 섭섭하고 가기 싫은 말 많이 하셨어요. 당연히 엄청 많이 하셨어요. 이제 돌아가시고 나서 뭐 제주에서 영어 강의 할수 있지 않을까 약간 영어 학원 있지 않을까도 고민해 보셨고 아니면 서울에 있는 도쿄 학원에서 일할까도 고민해 보셨고 또 언제 올수 있을지 어떤 방식 식으로 올수 있을지 계속 이제 생각하고 계시는 것 같아요. 엄마가 일단 한국도 엄청 좋아하시거든요. 여기 사는 것 편하고 음식도 너무 잘 맞고 그리고 한국 아름다운 나라이잖아요. 그래서 진지하게 뭐 1년이라도 여기 한번 살아보고 뭐 일하면서 한국을 경험해 보는 거좀 관심 있는 것 같아요. 이제 엄마 같은 경우 가장 얘기 많이 하는 거는 음식이에요. <웃음> 이제 얼마 전에 프랑크푸르트 근처에 있는 작은 도시 있는데 한국 만찬 가기 발견하셨대요. 근데 거기 그래서 젓갈도 파니까 그거 사고 엄청 맛있게 드셨대요. 그리고 김치도 많이 좋아하시니까 독일에서 자와크라우트라는 배추로 만든 요리 있긴 있는데 자와크라우트가 좀 시인데 김치가 많이 매콤하고 난 맵잖아요. 그래서 확실히 차이 느낄 수 있는데 요즘은 그래서 자와크라우트 종종 먹고 있대요. 김치 아니지만 김치랑 비슷한 점이라도 있어서 그리고 지하철도 많이 말씀하세요. 왜냐면 지하철은 서울에서 진짜 최고잖아요. 깔끔하고 마르고 안전하고 너무 좋은데 독일에서 특히 교행 같은 도시에서 뭐 늦을 때도 많고 도시가 없어 그냥 열차 없을 때도 있고 그래서 그런 점 생각하면 확실히 여기 돌아다니는 것 엄청 편했어요. 한국에 있는 동안도 한국어 공부 좀 하셨는데 이제 독일로 다시 돌아가셔서 한국어 능력 시험도 봤대요. 꼭 자격증 한번 따고 싶다고 하셔서 매일매일 열심히 공부하다가 이런 시험 보는 경험도 한번 해봐서 너무 좋은 것 같아요. 그리고 엄마가 이제 한국 문화에 대해서도 관심 많다 보니까 얼마 전에 켈녀서 판소리 공연도 있다고 하셨는데 그것도 보러 가셨고 그리고 당연히 집에서도 드라마 열심히 보시는 거 있죠. 그래서 여러분들도 엄마 큰원에 대해 궁금하실 것 같아서 한번 영상 통화 걸어보려고 해요. 할로 마마. How are you doing, Mama? I'm fine. And I hope everything is good for you too. Yeah, same as always. It's gotten colder now, but yeah, same as always. Healthy, healthy and everything as well. So I'm curious, now that you're back in Germany for a couple of weeks already, how are you feeling? Like, are you used to Germany again or are you missing Korea a lot? Well, I'm working now, but I do miss being in Korea. Of course, I miss you. I don't know, it was just, you know, <laughs> It's probably like it's always a being on holiday, you know. I, I did so many fantastic things, wonderful food, and this is of course what I miss. Well, I mean, have you done anything Korea related back in Germany? Like to kind of alleviate your Korea homesickness? Well, I do feel Korean homesickness every time I have to use the tram, uh, you know, public transport. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Um, yeah. So it makes me feel very, very 
homesick. Well, I, I've tried to cure my homesickness a little bit, my Korea homesickness a little bit, by trying to get um, Korean food here, because you know I love Korean food. So three weeks ago, I went to Oberozo, which is a town near Frankfurt, and really a most fantastic and surprising banchan shop there, and they kept me happy. <laughs> so now that you have been back in Germany for some time, would you say there are more like Korean restaurants or shops than before or like do you pay more attention to them? Well obviously I pay more attention to them but really in the last two well maybe not since I've returned but in the last two or three years there are many many more Korean restaurants even in Cologne and Cologne is not one of the Korean hotspots in Germany that's true and seen, um, with a lot of um, Korean shops and restaurants and there are some supermarkets Korean supermarkets oh. there I've never seen anything like that in Cologne and that shop was new actually and only opened fairly recently but yeah I guess more people are interested in Korea and Korean food so it makes sense that the Koreans living there also see a chance in opening up a business because there's not really you know that their business is still a blue ocean you can still have a lot of success in that kind of area. Definitely, and more and more German people are, of course, well, getting into the Korean taste. I only hope that it's always that good quality, but mm. you, because you know what it was like with, I don't know, Turkish restaurants or, or Greek restaurants before that, once they become popular in Germany, many, many, many people open this kind of restaurant. Just to make some fast money. Yeah. In Korean hands, you know. Mm. <laughs> so on your next trip to Korea, which I'm sure there will be a next trip. Are there some things that you already have in mind that you want to visit or want to do? Definitely. I mean, next time I hope that, that um, your, your dad will be able to come along. <gasps> How sad. Up to now it's been a problem because we have our vacation is at mm. different times. But um, hopefully he will retire next year and then we can travel <laughs> together. And then I would like to show him all the fantastic place, uh, places I've discovered because as you know, I've been, I've been going on excursions mm. so um, I always um, find places I've never you know I, I didn't even know existed but I would really like to see more of the Sokcho area to go to Busan so that would be actually a possible motto for our next trip oh but that's cool yeah so I mean we have a list already of things to do when you come here next you two here again and showing you around maybe going to Jeju again and just having a good time uh, I want to go now <laughs> I can't wait to come back. Well, you take care of yourself and of course we will stay in contact. And yeah, maybe I can send you some, some nice Korean snacks or skincare. <laughs> anyway, take care, Elena. Have a good day and I'll speak to you again soon. Yeah, see you, mama. Love you. Mwah. Munwaga Ingen Hangoko Ergi Ir. I want to study a little bit now. Chingu de Gua Bugugi de Mashiki Mogushup Sunita. Oh, I really would like some Korean food now. But next year, next year we'll go together and then we'll have lots of nice food.